So we know President Biden doesn't do much interviews. Unless it's Cardi B or somebody who's not going to ask him any relevant questions, you know. Um, And he did an interview with somebody that's not going to ask him any relevant questions. person named Dylan Mulvaney, who's been publicly transitioning from a boy to a girl. He did an interview with this person um, about trans rights. Somebody who hasn't even been transitioning for a year yet. They didn't go. They didn't bother. Go, they didn't bother to go get nobody who's been in that life for years. They wanted to get the most popular person that they could at the time because that's what they want: people to see it and people to agree with it that are agreeing with this person at the time. They want. They want to. They want him to be looked at in a good light. <laughs> so that's what they do, just like they did with Cardi B when Cardi B interviewed him. The buffoonery. I mean, if you're not matching two and two up yet, it's like, where are you? Where are you? Wake up, people. Let's check out this interview, though. To move on now to trans rights, there have been many anti-LGBTQ plus bills introduced and enacted outlawing things like gender affirming health care and banning kids from playing sports to go deeper into this issue here with wait 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 let's not, let, let's 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 play it back cuz i don't think you guys are getting what he's they say it quick and so professional that it just creeps through your mind let's let's let's, uh, let's we're going to move on now to trans rights there have been many anti lgbtq plus bills introduced and enacted Outlawing things like gender affirming health care and banning kids from playing sports. Banning kids from playing sports. Do you know what they're talking about? <laughs> they're talking about transgender in women's sports. Now we know the guy in the swimming who um won the won the race against those girls, and we know the girls were upset about it. They're talking about things like that. Or the the video I showed you with the girl with the transgender in the in the UFC beating up the girls, they're talking about things like that. But they'll say it quick like this, where it sounds professional, it just sneaks right past your head and nobody really pays attention to it. Right? He also said something about gender uh, health care. Right? Gender affirming health care. They're, 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 they're talking about, you know, transitioning, but also for children. But they don't expect you to think that. They don't expect you to get that. So they just, you know, rush it through. Let's let's continue. To go deeper into this issue, here with us today is Dylan Mulvaney, who's welcomed us into her life by, you know, showing on social media her girlhood series. Let's take a look. My name is Dylan Mulvaney. I am a trans woman, and I am documenting my transition publicly on TikTok for the world to see. When now, this is somebody that people thought was joking around because he's so animated. At first, I thought he was joking around. They thought, it was a, they thought it was a joke, but come to find out, I guess it was serious. People started watching and the numbers kept getting higher. I realized quickly how public my transition would be. Of course, I knew that there would be backlash. Like this. Let's continue. Ash and negativity. I try to not let the Internet's words hurt me or my spirit. But do you know what does hurt? Seeing people in power and authority figures creating laws and bills that are actively trying to harm us transhuman. Harm us. Harm us. Trying to harm you guys by saying that a transgender shouldn't be able to use uh, a girl's bathroom if they're, if they're biologically male. Saying that a transgender shouldn't be able to play sports with women if they're biologically male. That's harming you guys. Saying that a transgender shouldn't be able to play, uh, uh, fight women in UFC if they're biologically a male. That's harming you guys. Really? Really? Boy, oh boy, I must be in the matrix. Especially trans children. Our lives have become... Especially trans children. Speaking, like, because we go against children being able to be transitioned. So that's harming that's harming children. Like Dwayne's son. Went to like Dwayne Wade's son. How we're going against like, yo, let let them turn 18. They have their own decision in. But they shouldn't be able to do those things while they're underage. That's harming them or is that helping them, Dylan? 
and political talking points. Lawmakers in many states want to exclude us from participating in sports or getting proper health care. Do you see what I'm saying? They say it in a way where it sounds like where you empathize with them. Let me let, let me show you. Let me show you. These higher elites is what I'm actually worried about. You know, they're they're going against trans and they're harming us by not letting us play sports and going against um, health care for us. Do you see how that sounds? You know what I really said? Let me let me translate for you. These higher elites are not in our not on our side because they won't let us play sports with the women where we can dominate the sport. And they're not, they're not letting our children transition to be what they want to be, even though it just may be in their head at the time because they're little kids. That's what it is. <laughs> Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're finally getting it. That's what they do. They try to brainwash you with the words that they speak and how they say it. Their tone of voice manipulates and brainwashes people. But it's time for us to start digging in and seeing the root for what it is instead of just looking at the tree when it's growing. Cut that bad boy. Keep it going. Some folks want to decide where we can use the bathroom. No one. Good night. I told you guys. I told you guys. I didn't even know she was. I didn't even know. She. What am I, what am I doing? I didn't even know he was about to say that. The bathrooms. I told you. No, I'm sorry, Dylan. If I had a little, I don't, I don't have any children, but if I had a little girl, I would not want her in the bathroom with a biological man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if, if that hurts your feelings. I'm sorry if that makes you sad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that's just the way it is. I do not want my baby girl in the bathroom with a biological male. I'm sorry. Continue. No one should have fear living in a state that they call home while being true to themselves. No one should have their lives put in danger. Put in danger? Live in fear? Do you guys hear these words that are coming out of his mouth? Put in danger? How? Because we're, we don't want to pass laws to allow you to go to the same bathroom as women? We don't want to pass laws to allow you to play sports with women? because of who they are inside. That's why I'm sharing my story with the world. Oh, I'm great. using my platform to stand up for my community and for any of the little Dylans that deserve a clear path to their true identity. This is, this, this, this is, this is, this is wider than I thought it was going to be. Grab your coffee cups. Uh, Mr. President, this is my 221st day of publicly transitioning. Told you, not even a, not even a year yet. God and, love you. Uh, thank you. I am extremely privileged to live in a state that allows me access to the resources I need, and that decision is just between me and my doctors. But many states have lawmakers that feel like they can involve themselves in this very personal process. Do you think states should have a right to ban gender-affirming health care? I don't think any state or anybody should have the right to do that as a moral question and as a legal question. As a moral question, somebody give Joe Biden a pillow. <clears throat> First of all, she's saying gender reaffirming health care. She's talking about, oh, Lord, what am I doing? He's talking about um, transitioning children. That's what they're talking about, guys. And Joe Biden is saying he don't think you know, they're using these different words. Listen to me, guys. This is what they're talking about. They're just using different words. So it goes over people's heads. So they won't really, so they won't really look at it like, oh, what are they talking about? Are they serious? It goes over people's heads that don't really study into these things and, and don't really, you know, have the knowledge to understand it. Well, I'm giving it to you plain and simple. They're talking about children transitioning, talking about uh, children being able to transition. I just think it's wrong. You know, I and Biden saying he thinks it's wrong that people go against it. And this is the same man who said, even if an eight year old decides to tra change their gender, people shouldn't go against it. This is that man. This is that man. I think I was saying before we started that my son, my deceased son, used to be the attorney general of the state of Delaware. 
he passed the most the broadest piece of legislation that he, as Attorney General, can, uh, was able to convince the legislature and the governor to sign that dealt with uh, all gender affirming capability. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, you sometimes they try to block you from being able to access certain medicines, being able to access certain procedures and so on. None of that should be available. I mean, uh, you know, no, no state should be able to do that, in my view. So I feel very, very strongly that, uh, that you should have every single solitary right, including, including use of the, your gender identity bathrooms in public. Thank you. Thank you. And it... He's saying that... <clears throat> Well, let's just cut to the end. He was saying that they should be able to use what bathroom they identify with. It feels like Republicans have turned trans and non-binary people into this thing to blame society's downfall on in some ways. And this narrative is not only dangerous to our mental health, but also our physical safety. Your mental health? Dylan. Gender dysphoria is a mental illness, Dylan. You believing that you are a woman is already a mental issue. You think that this is the problem? Lord help the Lord. Lord have mercy. And particularly trans women of color are being murdered at an alarming rate. You see how they bring up the color. You see how they bring up they love race baiting. They love it. They know that people empathize with it. Don't let them be black. Oh, it's really a problem. You see how they bring up the color. They bring up color so that people, more people can empathize with it and be on their side. Because then people will be like, oh my goodness, wow, they're on our side. No, 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 no. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they are not more than any other group of people thank you and he had to add on to it i knew <laughs> oh my goodness more than any other people somebody get this man a pillow how can democratic leaders be more effective in advocating for us trans people in our families in our lives and our opportunities i'm not being facetious when i say this being seen with people like you no i mean it i'm not being facetious when i say it. no i mean it he loves doing things like that i don't know if you see joe biden's debates or things like that but he loves reassuring people that he's being serious i'm being facetious i know i mean it i i i'm I, i'm honestly i'm honest with this i'm what i'm telling you right now is coming from my heart joe biden stop it i genuinely mean it people fear what they don't know they fear what they don't know and when people realize they fear what they don't know individuals realize oh this is what that's fear they're telling me to be frightened of this is the problem this is i mean people change their minds people are just don't know enough to know and it's not because of intellectual incapability it's just people don't know enough to know it's lack of exposure and uh and i think that uh, it's really important lack of exposure he wants it out there he wants it out there. He wants it in the open. A lot of them do. That's why they frontline it. That's why it's all over the media. That's why you got Calvin Klein posting pic posting pictures of um, transgendered males with pregnant bellies, saying they're doing it for support of women. That we continue to speak out about the basic fundamental rights of all human beings and the idea. The idea that what's going on, you know, in some states, I won't get into the politics of it, but in some states, it's just, it's outrageous. And I think it's immoral. The trans part. Immoral. Why do they keep bringing up moral? What moral standards are you talking about, Joey? What moral standards? God's morals? God, like, I know they ain't, I know they not. Ain't he supposed to be a Catholic, too? 
Anyway. It's not immoral. What they're trying to do to trans persons is immoral. What they're trying to do to trans... They want people to feel bad, to empathize with this. What are they doing exactly, Joe, by saying, no, we're not going to allow this? You acting like people out here beating up trans people or something like that. By people saying they're not going to allow this, they're not going to make this legal, that's harming them? Oh, Lord have mercy. You see how they try to, like, put things in your mind. They sow seeds in your mind. And then start watering it and watering it and watering it and watering it until you're just like, okay. Thank you. And do you have any messages to the families of trans folks that are seeking, you know, uh, options for their children um, but are struggling to find resources? Do you have a message to those parents? Yeah, I do. Um, this is blood of your blood, bone of your bone. And... Uh, um, it is, uh, again, speaking to my son, when he was, he was, spent a year in Iraq and he was a decorated soldier. He volunteered to go, as a, he had to give up the attorney general's job and then came back to it. And uh, he started a, a, a foundation I'm not allowed to talk about now because I can't raise money for it any longer. But it was for abused children. And one of the things he did is raise millions of dollars, this organization, to basically educate parents as to what they should not be afraid of um, and to educate the community as to what is, what, what is just pure hyperbole. And, and uh, You cannot be afraid of something and not accept it. I don't, I don't fear any of these people. I don't fear any of this. I don't fear anything. Doesn't mean I'm going to accept it because I don't fear it, Joey. So I just think it's a matter of leaders speaking out and, uh, Mercy. and saying, as I told you, I mentioned a young woman who used to be in his staff, used to be in my staff, um, who is now a state senator. Uh, a number, and she's trans, and she's a... Uh, uh, you know, a state senator in the state of Delaware, in an area that was historically very conservative, the part of Delaware. And she, uh, she's running unopposed this time. Um, so things are changing. Things are changing. But it's a matter of us acknowledging that there's nothing to be, just because it's different, there's nothing to be fearful about. Nobody fears. That's what they want to put in our head. Like, just because we don't agree with it does not mean we fear it. It's not of God. It's unnatural. Gender dysphoria is a mental illness. Thinking that a, a man thinking that he is a woman and then changing his body to become one is an illness. And when we point it out, it doesn't mean we fear it. If anything, we want to get those people help. But coming into agreement with it, like the leader of the world, like the leader of the country, is not what you want to do. These people are damaging these people, damaging these people. When you reward somebody for doing something that can never be fulfilled, you are damaging them. You need to help them in that area, not give them what they want. If you just give a child what they want all the time, you're, you're damaging that child. This is why the best parents are parents that discipline their kids. Because that kid knows what's right and what's wrong, what's real and what's fake. Instead of you just telling a kid... Uh, everything they want to hear and catering to their emotions. Then that kid grows up in the world like, oh my goodness, what's going on? It damages them. Damages. Anyways, I wanted you guys to see that. I've seen it. Um, let's continue to shed light, you guys. Hey, man, you guys want to partner with us? Patreon.com slash Isaiah Robin. Uh, you can get the gear I'm wearing at Gollyvibes.com. 
you guys. Uh, more cancel me episodes coming. Amen. If you want to cancel anybody, cancel me. Right. Love you guys. Uh, I pray you guys got the got a message out of this. Amen. Let's continue sharing, shedding light and sharing truth. Amen. God bless.